Okay, dear friends, welcome back. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be Cube Tricks Level One. I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. So now we can go into the kind of Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine or target as 129. Then I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the version scan, the default script scan by the option of SC, the capital C. And also I did the comprehensive scan, or in other words, the full range port scan by the option of dash P dash. So from the map scanning results, as, as you can see, there are several open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface and also the actual uh, version information. And I think at this point, we do not have the vulnerability for this version of SSH. The next one is 18 and also the actual version information. But uh, can you note that uh, the version is not a patch 2? And also the mod SSL uh, version information. Okay. And the next one is 111. And also the 139. And also the SSSL uh, surface. Okay, of course, as I did in other videos, if the virtual machine has the file sharing service, related service running or open, I'd like to emulate such a service or services first. For example, like we can use the SMB client. L. I Auto complete this command. The password for the Kali Linux. As you can see, there's some shell name, but this is a default uh, shell name, uh, which is a bit useless for us. So now uh, we can use the Ligto to do some immersion for the web surface. I think uh, now, as you can see, we have already. I think from the map, from the map scanning, we have already know that, and the Nikto confirms the the map scan results. As you can see, uh, this version are vulnerable to remote buffer of of flow. Okay, so I'd like to interrupt this process. And I have already opened up the, the you, you can search the exploit for this version. And uh, I navigate to the GitHub. And this is the repository for the exploit. The name is OpenLock. And uh, I have already git clone uh, this exploit to our Kali Linux. And this is step how to do the the first step is to clone uh, this code. I have already done that. Now let's go to into this uh, directory. And the second one, we need to install uh, this library, the SSL dev library. But before we do that, we need to update our source or repository okay so let's complete let's complete and then we go on install the SSL dev repository okay 
yeah my internet is not uh, very good anyway it will not take so long time so much time yeah have already fetched all uh, indexes about the packages okay now we can install but i think we can we need to use the sudo And the next step, we need to compile this OpenLock exploit code by GCC. Okay, as you can see over here, the usage or instruction how to utilize this exploit. The third step would be to compile, and we can. I think we just make a copy. Yeah, no problem. And let's list. And now we can run this. But uh, as you can see, of course, you can run this one and uh, without supplying any arguments. And uh, this code or this plug will give you the instruction how to use this code. We need to specify the target, and uh, of course this is a supported offset, and uh, we have to know the. We can know the version of the virtual machine, right? Yeah, the IP address is correct or not? I'm not sure. So what's up here dread? Oh sorry. One two nine. As you can see, we know the target is red hat. And uh, the also we from the map scanning result we can know the version of the Apache. Yeah, this one. So from this one, we can select the appropriate target. Yeah, this one. I think should be, yeah, should be this one. Okay. So I'd like to open flag. I'd like to order complete. Yeah, we need to specify the port and also the collection. Yeah, now it's exploiting the target, yeah, spawning shell. Yeah, we have as you can see, we have already got the batch shell. But uh, as you can see now, we just uh, partially complete uh, this exploit. Because afterwards we get the batch shell, it will download this code, and then compile this code and do this one. But uh, because I have already configured the network adapter mode as host only. So in other words, the virtual machine or target cannot make a collection to the site like this one. So I think we need to download uh, this code manually and upload this uh, code onto the virtual machine so we can make a copy and we can use the wget to download this code yeah no problem and we can cut this a uh, code and uh, it look it looks like uh, this is a c code and uh, we can move or change the limb to the to this one.
and then we after we rename this C code, and then we need to upload this code onto the virtual machine, which is very easy. We just、uh, use the Python HTTP server module to set up the web server. Now we can go back to our terminal of the target. We can navigate to the temp directory, and then we can download. But I need to get the IP address of the Kali Linux. Okay. One four three. I think so. Yeah, one four three. It's correct. And the port number, and then. We need to supply the file name. Okay. Yeah, no problem. And、uh, what we need to do next? We just、uh, copy、uh, this line of code, and then we can paste in here and run. Oh, maybe we can. So we can run this command、uh, first. Yeah, we have already compiled to the p, and then we can run this command. No such a file. Interesting.、Uh, because when I did this, it can work without any issue. Oh, sorry. I just need to keep copy this part because I have already remove the code. Okay. No such a file. Yeah, I need to fix this issue. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, I I don't know what what reason、uh, causes that issue, but.、Uh, As you can see now, we have already become the root user. We just follow the instruction of this of this part. As you can see over here, yeah,、uh, download this code from the Kali Linux, and then compile this code, and remove it, and then can run this executable and do this part. So now, as you can see, we have already become the root user. We go to the root directory, and we don't need to retrieve the root flag. Anyway, we have already successfully got the root shell. Okay, so that's it for this virtual machine. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.